for car makers and dealers. It must have seemed like 1982 would never end. The model year was disastrous to say the least, with the worst auto sales in two decades. So now that it's over, car makers are trying something a bit different for 1983. Hold on to your seat covers. Some cars are actually going down in price. Now I hasten to add that the price rollback applies mostly to certain General Motors, front wheel drive, midsize and compacts. That means J and A body cars. Prices are going down by $250 to $500 on the J-size Chevy Cavalier, Pontiac 2000, and as far as A-cars go, on the Chevy Celebrity and Old Sierra, among others. A-bodies are selling so poorly that rumor is that GM may slap all new sheet metal on them next year. Anything to get them on the streets. But GM is saving its biggest favor for its best customers. Cadillac Seville's will be $1,500 less than last year though you're still going to have to shell out over $21,000 for one. Overall, though, it seems the price increase habit is hard to break. Average prices for all GM cars will still go up by 1.9% for 1983. Ford, AMC, and Chrysler's prices are also staying pretty much the same, though they're adding more options this year. One familiar sales tool will be missing, rebates. All manufacturers are convinced that rebates don't work. Apparently, the big four may just try to keep a leash on prices instead of handing out cash. Now, though, let's go over and see what Chrysler will be handing us in the near future. Joyce, what's so special that we had to send our spy photographer off to Chrysler land? Well, it happens to be the Chrysler G24, which is the new sports coupe for Fall 83. Is this another sporty car built on a sedan chassis? Well, not quite. I mean, granted, we're going to go back to that old K-car chassis. But I think what's really exciting here is the styling. This is a really strong-looking design, and I think it's going to make the competition of Camaro and Mustang sit up and take notice. Mm -hmm. If you take a look at this picture, you can see that really good-looking rear end, the way that hatchback goes down and those really distinctive rear tail lights. And then take a look at those really snappy-looking wheels. I think they're really great, and they tell me that they're going to be steel-belted radials mounted on aluminum rims. And if you come around to the front end, what you're going to see is those European rectangular headlights, which are really, I think they're very smart looking. But the grill, well, I'm not too excited about that grill. I, I think it's a little ordinary on an otherwise exciting looking car. Did you get any chance to look inside? Ah, one picture, and that was it. That's all I could manage to get. And as you can see, it's very luxurious. There's a very nice padded steering wheel, really good looking instrumentation wrap-around bucket seats in the front, and what's really nice is the bucket seats in the back because they're individual buckets, which means you can push them forward and you can just mm -hmm. load that thing up with luggage, groceries, whatever you got. Styling aside, what's going to happen when those folks in Chrysler land push down the accelerator? Well, they're going to find that standard 2.2-liter four-cylinder. That's the one Chrysler makes. That's their own engine. That's right, but this time it's going to be fuel injection, mm -hmm. and that'll be mated to a five-speed transaxle. Mm -hmm. But I think what's really exciting news is what I haven't told you. And that's the fact that this thing is going to have a turbocharger option. And that is from Garrett Air Research. And the word is, is that's going to bring 142 horsepower to this baby. Have we got one more look at it? Yeah, but you better make that a very long look. Because if you remember when we were in Detroit a couple of weeks ago, we found out that the front end is due to be restyled. And no word yet on what it's going to look like. Guess till then. We'll just have to guess. Yeah. Thanks, Joyce.